Let's welcome on and say hi to Dave Traubert with the Kansas Policy Institute, doing great work every single day on KCMO, especially keeping the folks in line when it comes to education in this state. Uh, Dave, let's dive into this story. Let's start there. Uh, What is going on with media in the state of Kansas as it relates to the issue of education? Well, uh, good morning, Pete. It's good to see that uh, Kansas Public Radio had the integrity uh, to to set the record straight once we brought it to their attention. Um, You could say they should have known ahead of time because this was as uh, with all the legislators, everybody knew what was taking place. Schools are getting $82 million more from the state for special education. But they're, the institutional interests want to say that it's not true. They, what you're seeing here is a run-up to the November education war. Uh, it's not a Democrat Republican thing. It's the institutionalists versus students. Uh, it's not about helping students. It's about gaining political power. It, it, it is real simple. Uh, is that our school districts going to get more money from the state for special education next year? The answer unequivocally is yes. But there is a bombardment of false claims coming out of Topeka. House Democrats sent out an email that we wrote about that said uh, funding was chopped. No, it was increased. A Republican, this is bipartisan, a Republican from Ulysses, who's a former superintendent, uh, Dave Younger, uh, was quoted in the Kansas Public Radio story as saying it was voodoo, that there's no increase. Yes, it is. He knows it. They all know it. This is more of the gaslighting that's going to be put on taxpayers and voters this coming November. Okay, so uh, you allude to that being a bipartisan issue. Is that, and you kind of said it there, but is that basically just because it's the establishment across the political spectrum that is kind of trying to feed and, and push this narrative that somehow the public schools are getting squeezed in this state, even though that's anything but true? Yeah, it, it is. And it's uh, this is this is not Democrats and Republicans or liberals, conservatives. It's a power play. Uh, the education isn't really the issue. Education is just the prop that's being used to try to leverage the power they want. Um, and, and I say that confidently, knowing how they fight so hard to prevent schools from doing the right things for kids. I mean, simple things like the law says school board members shall conduct these assessments in schools each year to determine why kids aren't proficient and remove those barriers. Superintendents will not allow board members to go in and do that. And the establishment, which has Democrats and Republicans in it, say, no, we shouldn't do that. That's meddling. Well, the law says do it. We don't want to. Mm -hmm. Because it's more important that we keep the establishment in place. We want they want the public angry with the legislature so they can throw more of them out and gain power. It's it that's all it's about. It's about power. Yeah. So then Dave Trobert, I mean, listen, I um have these conversations with parents in our community on a regular basis, just talking about, you know, do they trust the public education system, and that's only been on steroids, that conversation over the last three, four years. What are the alternative options? Um, is school choice coming in a more robust way to Kansas? And I don't know what to say um, to these parents because I don't have the answer. What would you say to them? Well, I'd say, first of all, choice is, con- is continuing to come. It's growing Another method kicks in in the fall with open enrollment where kids are going to be allowed to go to a district other than the one assigned to them by their zip code, uh, provided that the receiving district has uh, capacity. Uh, the, the system doesn't want that. They want these kids trapped in there because they don't want to be held accountable. Don't change anything. we got a third of our kids below grade level in reading and math in Kansas. One out of three can't do math at grade level, can't read at grade level, and they the system fights tooth and nail every step to try to get those kids the education they deserve. 
Um, it is tough. It yeah. is tough, Pete, because, and here's why. Because it, it's, and I know I've said this before, Thomas Sowell, famous economist, he said to understand politicians, you have to understand that most of them aren't trying to solve your problems. They're focused on their own problems. Number one, get elected. Number two, get reelected. And number three is kind of a distant thought. Yeah. And, and so you have, you have some self-described conservatives who are passing on voting, are siding or saying, no, let's, I'll go vote with the institutions for the sole purpose of not being targeted by the institutions because the education system is really powerful at the ballot box. It is and not that in the irony, Pete, is that the system isn't going to like these people anymore because they sided with them. They're still going to try to get them out. They will not stand up in some cases. Many do, but some won't stand up and and say, these are my principles. And if you don't like me, vote me out. But these are my principles. They run and hide because number two is get reelected. That's the priority. Yeah. It really is such a broken system in so many ways. And uh, Dave Traubert, you're fighting the good fight on this front here. In the last uh, minute or so, I mean, what what should parents be taking away from this conversation outside of the frustrations? I don't want it to be doom and gloom. So what should they be taking away from this and how they can get involved and do something about it? Doing something about it works. We are so far much, so much further down the road than we were at one point years ago because the pressure has been applied. There is going to be a really good piece of legislation passed, the blueprint for literacy. Uh, the pressure that's been applied on the school system has finally gotten the Department of Education to embrace the science of reading. Mm-hmm. The, the blueprint for literacy is setting goals. The Department of Education doesn't really want to do this. They don't want to have to change. But change is inevitable. It's coming because of the constant pressure. It's expanding school choice. Last year we got licensing uh, or uh, we made it easier for people to open micro schools. Uh, accreditation can be acquired just because you're starting. They can't try to delay it, yeah. uh, you know, run the clock on you. There are really good things coming. It's frustrating that, that some of the things aren't happening as fast as they should. But it, it keep the pressure up, keep holding them accountable, bring everything back to student achievement. It's what they don't want to talk about. Even in Johnson County, you've got a, almost a third of the high school kids uh, reading below grade level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's going to be a quarter uh... to a third. It, it's you, you have to you have to keep the, it's there's good stuff out there, but there's a lot of kids who aren't getting the education they deserve. And that won't the system will not work to change that. This isn't teachers. Yeah. Teachers work very hard. This is the managers at the top of the system. Dave Traubert, Kansas Policy Institute, doing great work as always. Dave, thank you for the time. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Pete. There you go. Very well done as always.